So excited, my Gwinnie B packages came in today. I was a little worried they wouldn't come in time, like they would come on a weekday and I'd have to wait to film them on a weekend, but it's Saturday and they came. So, um, I think I'm putting that video up soon. I'm gonna do an unboxing video and a try on with those. Um, eventually I'll, you know, link it down here when it happens, but super excited it came like in time. So if you've never gotten a Gwinnie Bee box, they come like this. Like I really love the way they're packaged. It's literally like a present. So um, yeah, so I'm really excited to go through this box. It's stuff I picked out, so I kind of know what I'm getting. So you know how much I love the floral bomber I already have. I wanted to try out a different one. And this one is from Yours Clothing. So again, we got some dresses and a sweater. I'm so jazzed because I've just did like three videos today and that's really productive for me. So um, I did a Torrid, ooh, sunlight, Torrid and City Chic haul. I did my Gwinnie Bee haul. And then I did a LuLaRoe um, leggings try on. I wanted it to be a true first impression and I literally got a pair of those leggings in November. <coughs> so I've been sitting on those for a while. Um, long story short, they're very soft, but um, would I buy another pair? Probably not. Um, but the, the video I just filmed was like literally 17 minutes of me saying basically that and I don't like pattern leggings but whatever floats your boat. So I, I do tend to ramble so editing that's going to be a little hard. But um, so I'm really proud of myself for finally getting three of those done. So yeah, a full day of filming for me. I actually got sunlight for once in my life. I filmed something yesterday and there was like, it was gray. But um, my words came out very well, so I'm going to keep that. So, going to go to Taco Bell, got to go to the library, and um, ooh, then I'm going to watch the Golden Globes. Oh, I need to go food shopping. Ugh. But I'm going to watch the Golden Globes. I, I am so late to the game. I just finished Stranger Things, and I am obsessed. I've literally watched any and all YouTube video interview with the cast. I am literally so obsessed. Um, yesterday I bought a Stranger Things sweatshirt on Amazon and it costs more than most clothing items I've already bought this year have cost. So I have a problem. Um, but I'm also really digging this sweater. So this is from Gwinnie Bee via FTF. So it's sold out on FTF. I wore this sweater in my Dia photo shoot um, in gray and then I wanted it on the FTF site um, in pink, but they sold out really fast. So when I saw this on Gwinnie B, I was like, yep, I know what I want. I want that. I've already worn it. I know I like it. And I really like this little dusty pink color. So cute. So, um, wearing this, I really like it. So, um, yeah, gonna edit all my stuff. I feel really productive. I'm really happy about that. Um, gonna go pick up my book. I haven't read a book in a while. Once I figured out you can download Netflix onto your phone, uh, my commutes have changed uh, quite drastically. So I'm picking up a book. I'm going to get back into the swing of things. And uh, yeah, nice and productive. <sighs> I'm so bad at small talk. Um, first of all, I'm still sick. So any kind of physical activity triggers a coughing fit. So I walked up the stairs, like right now, hold on. <coughs> so I walk up the stairs and I go to the girl. Um, oh, I have a pickup. But then I was like, please don't like like bleh, everywhere so I was trying to hold in a cough so I was like you know and then she's like I heard this is a really great book and as someone who hasn't read it yet are you just supposed to be like huh but thankfully I've read a couple of his books so I was like oh he's from New Jersey so I like that because he'll mention places you've been to so for the record it's Harlan Coben so I've read four of his books and he's just a really good writer in general I really like um his mysteries and stuff so um Got to work in my small talk, but I think I saved myself, and I didn't cough up my lungs up there. Just filmed a mukbang in my room, which is kind of gross, but I wanted to do it um, in the parking lot at Taco Bell, but um, it was kind of crowded. So then I went to a grocery store, and then I was like, someone from high school is definitely going to walk up to me eating a taco while filming on a tripod in my car. Like, I, I don't know. It just felt a little, a little weird to me. So I brought it home. Um, angles aren't quite right in here. I think it would be better in a car, but what can you do? Um, I love watching Ashley's, um, mukbangs, so I started to do them too. And I wanted to do a first impression of that new Chalupa, which was banging, by the way. Um, what am I doing? 
I still need to go to the grocery store and get like actual food for the week. That's why I was I was like, oh, this is a good idea. I'll like do it in the grocery store parking lot and then I'll buy my food. And that didn't happen. So I need to leave my house again and get some food. Um, what else am I up to? I'm still, I was in the midst of a cleaning my room video, but now I'm lazy again. I got, I got like halfway there, but my desk, okay. Literal fire hazard. But I really want to do, I'm going to like clean it, but I want to do a full on desk organization video on its own. So let me know if you would want to see that. I also need to organize this cube thing full of like free samples from like eight years ago. So there's a lot of organization I have to do. Um, I don't know if I want to dedicate a whole video to them. I kind of do, but if you want to watch that, let me know. Um, so I don't know if I have enough time slash sunlight for the desk, but I can probably do some other stuff. <sighs> Hi, so I just got back from Boohoo's spring summer slash men's launch party. So I feel like a really cool like influencer kind of person. There was even gift bags. So we're going to open this up, see what's in there. Uh, so I got the invite through like, clearly I use affiliate links. So please click them. I need money. Um, but through the affiliate programs, you also get, I guess, invites. So this has never happened to me, but I got an invite and I'm like, who can, let me, uh, you know, the window's open. Let me just see if they go for it. I'm like, can I bring a plus one? And they're like, yeah, sure. So the plan was to bring my friend Bianca, but her boyfriend's getting surgery tomorrow, so she can't come. Then I thought about texting friends, but then I was like, I'm lazy. So it never happened, but I'm pretty comfortable with going places by myself. So um, I get there and like easy in and it's like a garden theme. It was so so cute so the whole wall was like grass and flowers and said boohoo and flowers so cute um and then it was just kind of like a showroom so there was clothes um there was free drinks a british man asked me if i wanted a whiskey sour and a british person saying whiskey sour is so cute and hot whiskey sour no whiskey sour i don't know whenever i try and do an accent i can't do one but my vagina screamed um, I didn't actually end up going for the whiskey sour because there was another drink with like rose petals in it So I wanted that for the visual. It was okay, but um had that And then they had this like hanging potted plant bar where you can kind of like make a hanging Potted plant. I know succulents were like a big craze recently um, I didn't have I didn't feel like making one. I didn't want to carry it home back to New Jersey with me so I didn't make one, but I watched everyone else make one and it looked pretty cool, but do I need one? No. Um, so I was just pretty jazzed that there was, you know, free drinks and like hot people and like a cool atmosphere. So I was just kind of taking it all in. I wish, I so wish, like I was very friendly. Like I was kind of standing there. I'm like, I should network, but I didn't. Um, but let me show you what I got in the I, when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, like this is legit, you know, a gift bag. And then I'm like, do I get one? Like, do like plebo like me get one? Okay. So looks like a shirt in a bag, I think. So this little tote bag with a girl and it says boohoo.com. I love tote bags. So I'm definitely going to be using this. And then a shirt, it'll probably won't fit me. Small, we can make it be a crop top. But um, a Boohoo shirt, that's pretty cool. So um, really excited that I got to do that. That was super cool. Um, I always tell people I hate New York, but I think I just hate Midtown because doing things like this, and this was um, in Soho, it was right off Waverly Place, like the show. Different parts of New York have different feelings and I was like, this is really cute and I feel really like, I feel, I, the whole night I felt like it was in a movie. So I appreciate you sometimes, New York. So thank you for the invite, invite, I can talk. Thank you for the invite, Boohoo. Um, I was super jazzed about that. Oh, and as I was wandering around this event alone, I knock over like a clothing display 
And I'm also trying to hold my drink and my phone and trying to fix and put everything back up together. It looked like Urkel, like when they're like overcompensating for like the mess they made. That's exactly how I looked. And I'm like, people are probably like looking at me and laughing at me and totally not helping, which I would do exactly the same, but so Shannon. That's so Shannon. Okay, so just fixed my roots. As you can see, they're actually red and not brown to like here. Um, they're still drying though. So I'm gonna babysit for like, from like 12 to question mark today. So I have a first babysitting job, like 12 to three, then they have basketball for an hour. So I'm gonna go do some errands, but then get them back from basketball and I'm there till dinner time. Then I have another babysitting job that's like a regular date night, like, you know, seven to whenever. So this is gonna be a long ass day and I'm so mad. Like I had the date night thing planned for a while. I don't mind those. The during the day ones just bother me because there's so much more I'd rather and I could be doing, but now I'm gonna do this. So, and this one was sprung on me like, like two days ago, but I always need money, so. I can't say no, so. My dad's the best. I was babysitting and he called. He's like, I got you Taco Bell. Where are you? I was like, I'm babysitting. So he brought it to the babysitting house. So my dad's the real MVP. <sighs> are you ever too lazy to just get out of the car? Um, gross fact, I didn't wash out either. Either it's the hair dye or that like nice conditioner they give you for afterwards, but it is goopy back here, so go me. Um, so I'm gonna go pick up, I did a Torrid ship to store, so I'm gonna go pick that up. But it's just, I ordered a pair of pants, and then like two days later I ordered more stuff, but I think just the pair of pants is here, so I'm gonna have to come back in like three days anyways, so gonna go get those. Tomorrow though, I'm also gonna go meet Lori Hernandez, from the final five and I'm gonna be the oldest person there. It's gonna be totally creepy, but that's the things I do. So, um, yeah, let me go get my Torrid stuff and then see what I wanna do with the rest of my time. Also, I'm still coming off being sick, so my voice is even more nasally than usual. So, sorry if that's bothering you. I just started a literal fire trying to make popcorn while babysitting, so um, it was literally smoking. I poured some water on it. Um, so I think I'm going to literally take that trash bag out with me when I leave and look like an idiot. I need to be on Worst Cooks in America because I, the house is smoking. I'm happy they don't have like, you know, fire detectors or whatever. Or like, you know, really sensitive smoke detectors. So, Worst Cook in America. So I almost set my babysitting house on fire last night, burning popcorn, and now my hair smells like burning popcorn, um, but I'm gonna deal with it. So today I'm meeting Lori Hernandez from The Final Five. She's doing a book signing. I saw that she was doing one in New Jersey, and I, it's a Sunday, so I'm like, okay, I have nothing to do. I can just go to that. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the oldest person there, though, and I'm alone, so it looks like even more creepy, but... Um, I'm wearing this city chic dress I just got and I just discovered it has pockets. So, um, wearing this, I'm gonna do comfy shoes. I've never been to a book, I've been to one, for Kenny Loggins who sings Footloose with my aunt. She has a crush on him. Anyways, so I have been to a book signing, but like, you know, not for like a teen star. So I'm assuming if there's gonna be a long line and um, so I'm gonna wear some comfy shoes, like literally Nikes to go with this nice dress. Um, we do get a picture with her though, that's exciting. So hopefully they get my good side. Okay, so this is the line. So this is gonna take a while. Oh, oh my God, this is so loud. <laughs> So that line that I showed you, like that wasn't even the real line. I don't, I, those are like the rando pre something people. So I get there and I'm taken to the back of the store, like the back parking lot and just a sea of people. Um, and I was like, do I really want to wait for this? Um, but it worked out cause the 
the part where I was in line, I was like one of the last 50 people in line. She pulled up and literally walked like two feet away from us to get in the store. So it was pretty clutch being at that point in line. But then they had to get through the people on the side before they could even start the people in the back. So I want to say my whole wait time was probably two hours. And that's even like buying the book and reserving your spot. So probably a whole wait time is two hours. You meet her for literally seconds. Um, I walk up. She, I should have known a gymnast would be tiny, but um, I didn't go for the comfy shoes. I wore heels. So I was even taller. I'm five foot eight already. So I looked like a giant. And I was like, oh my God, I look like a giant. Like that's what I said. We got our picture and then like moved on. I was definitely the oldest person like who didn't have a child with me. The girl behind me was like probably also in her 20s, but um, like probably younger 20s, but she had her mom with her. I was alone and there was two little girls in front of me and I think the people behind me for a while thought I at least had one of the little girls and like wasn't like a rando. Like she probably thought I was a mom or something or a babysitter, but then she noticed that they didn't belong to me and was probably like, this woman is at a signing for a 16 year old. But it was really cool. <coughs> oh, still sick. Um, my picture came out good, so I'd say it was a good day.